Because I've heard of a couple different analysts approach it a different way as well, or commentators, journalists, whatever you want to refer to them as, guys like Shaw, Barry, all those guys. Yeah. Um, what I've heard from one side of it is it, once you're in the UFC, you better not need to mature your skill set because you're not going to get those opportunities because the people you fight are going to be UFC fighters, essentially. You know what I mean? It, and it's one of those things where some, sometimes you will and sometimes you won't, but it's not up to you. That's why we the last, the last uh, two weeks ago, the last Beefy Boys episode, we were pretty harsh on Aspinall for essentially saying, like, I want to slow build. And, it, and, and as you just alluded to, Shaw and many people like that. It's not to say it never happens. You know, you see the Sean O'Malley's of the world, and you see that it's not – he's not the first or the only, but he's kind of the main one that comes to mind, right? And well, no, then, that's, uh, that's the guy I was going to ask you about, is do you think he should have matured his skill set a bit more before coming into the UFC, as far as, like, grappling defenses and such? Man, it, 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 it's It's so hard to tough say. Because it's not like there's, like, a set, like, draft, like, in the NBA – or, or the NFL, like when you're a local fighter fighting in fucking, you know, rodeo arenas and parks and bar parking lots and, 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 and casinos and, and, and you're just, you know, getting it how you live. And, and it's struggling even, to make ends, mate, ends meet, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the stress of it all. Like and, and you just, you have to hop on whatever opportunity you get. Like I said, it's, there's no combine, there's no draft, there's no like – set time where you better be ready by x date like you know there's guys that make their debut in their 30s and there's guys that make their debut when they're 22 and there's no that's what's tough that's what's so different than like traditional sports you know it's um i guess it kind of reminds me more if you have to compare it to a mainstream sport and i don't know too much about soccer or hockey but i'm uh, baseball because baseball this guy you may be the number one pick but then go to the minors for like seven eight years and then Break to mature through your skills. When you're, like early 30s, you know, and like that happens in baseball pretty often. So, like, maybe fighting is more a little bit like that. And then also, baseball is young phenoms like any other sport. But, uh, but, but yeah, fighting, fighting's a, a weird one as to like when you, you don't, because if you wait till you're ready, you know, the, the old saying, opportunity doesn't always knock twice. Like, sometimes you got to get while the getting's good, strike while the iron's hot, insert idiom there. But, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. Like not everybody gets to pull the patty, the batty and tell Dana, no. And like I said, who knows true. how true that is, but that's how legend has it that he told Dana, no three, four times. Uh, so yeah, not everybody gets those opportunities. Most guys have to get while the, they, the wall before there's no opportunity to say yes to you.